Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma NestJS. Today we are going to learn about how to connect the MySQL databases using Prisma in the NestJS. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So how we are going to do that. So first of all, if you don't have the NestJS CLI globally, make sure you have to install the nestjs cli with the command npm install hyphen g at the nestjs cli then you have to create a new project okay so whatever the project name would be the nest new this is your project name whether it's to be a postgres mysql crud rest api anything it could be okay then you need to install the prisma globally okay after this installation, initialize the Prisma project. To, to how to initialize the Prisma, you have to write the command in the folder Prisma in it. I will show you. Okay. So if I go to the history, okay, I will show you the commands which I have run over here. Okay. So here you can see the commands which I have run. Okay, so first I will use the NVM20, so the node server, then NPX Prisma. So I think this should not be clear out. Let me clear this. Okay, so here we go with this one. So this is done, Prisma in it in that folder. Okay, after doing the Prisma in it, what will happen? It will give you the Prisma with the schema.prisma. Okay, when you run this command, it will happen. It will give you that Prisma folder, the schema.prisma right so here we have to configure the prisma module okay so here we have the schema here we have the database entity you can see that this is to be a mysql postgresql if you haven't watched my uh, prisma tutorials then you go and watch then you can understand much more better on that so currently i'm going to do that how to connect to the mysql prisma and the nestjs okay so how we get this file with the command and prisma in it okay initialize the prisma in your project after that you have to install the prisma client okay install the prisma client in your project with the help of this don't uh, nest install nestjs type orm optional for the handling the entities so this is currently not required okay after this we have to create the model so here you need to define the model so my model consists of the user that is id username and the email okay it is id is auto incremented this is done after this what we have to do we have to create the users model in the nastjs so by using this command first we generate the modules for the users then controller then service okay after doing doing this what will happen it will go with the users model users folder okay and here you can see what we have we have this ts file specific spec file then we have a users controller then users module okay then user service Okay, so these three files generated, right? So what code I have to write into them, okay? So this is the one step after doing that, this will happen. After this, we have to create a source Prisma. In above, it is, it, it's outside the folder that is Prisma. And in the source, we have to create the Prisma folder. In the Prisma, we have to create the two files that is Prisma module.ts and the Prisma service.ts where we are getting the data, fetching the data, adding the data because we have to create the service of the Prisma to use that into our project to globally, right? So this is our first module. So here we have using the Prisma service. So providers would be Prisma service and exports Prisma. Okay. So export the class prisma module okay this is done after this we have to create the service so how we are going to create the service so here we have an injectable export the class prisma prisma client then this dot prisma with the help of this dot prisma we are going to assess this anywhere okay so this part is done in the prisma we have the two two files that is prisma module then the prisma service okay got it next we have a users let's go to a controller file so here we have the get so the rest api crud rest api i'm going to teach you in the next video but now i'm going to just give you the how we are going to connect with the mysql nest shares okay so with the prisma so this is the controller get post body param delete put okay so here i'm going to use the user service so here we have the user service so 
in user service we are using the source prisma service so this file this will this file will come into row right so we are using the prisma service then the this dot prisma here you can say this dot prisma prisma client okay make sure this is prisma client right so prisma client dot user dot find many okay so currently find many we are going to use because i have added the one data already so this is that one okay and after this i think at the last nothing is there okay so this this we will so many of them you can create right so currently find all okay so constructor in the user service class we have done this okay and then in the users controller so this is service we have added in a controller that is users okay export the class users controller then we have a find all with the return this user service dot find all right so the user service so we go with the user service first okay then we are checking out with the find all method in the service okay so it will call the prisma client user find many so find many that is used in the for the prisma so get or fetch all the data right so files we have done with the users controller we have done then we have a users module okay so make sure in the module you have to import the users controller user service and the prisma module okay so make sure ensure prisma module is imported this is done okay after this we have to go to the app module that is a main file okay so here we are importing the prisma module users module <coughs> okay so we have a users module and the prisma module rest of the things are the same after doing all of this step okay let's go to the terminal and what command after that we have to use that is first we have to run the prisma generate this is the first command whenever you're in the terminal you have to write npm packages i let you uh, i already tell you that to which we have to install then prisma generate this is important to load the variables from the env and anything okay schema related then we have to do the migrate okay so here we have the prisma migrate okay so it will generate the tables into your databases right so prisma migrate so here i'm going to add the dev okay so you can see that the prisma module is generated right so i already have generated this one you can see that the user and the prisma migrations right so it will come like this okay i have already added the one record into that one okay so i will use npm run start okay the full module that is the crud rest api will be going to the next one okay so here you can see that the get so i'm going to call the rest get one that means the connection is already done you can see that data data source mysql database test db is connected but the thing is i forget to tell you that how to connect that one okay so let's go to that one when it, when we use the np um, prisma uh, prisma in it it will give you the schema dot prisma so here we have the env file right so let's go to the env and how to add the connection string to it i will tell you so here mysql this is username this is password if you have the hash at the rate or something you need to encode that one so you have to watch my the prisma tutorial videos so you get to know about the what the encoding we have to use right then here we have the db name and this is the port one okay so this is done the connection parts that means connection is successfully done okay after this we will use the get api to fetch the data that means we are successfully done with the connection with the mysql using the prisma right any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section next video would be the crud rest operations or crud rest api using the nest shares mysql and the prisma okay so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video